Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Kim's here. Today, I'm excited to share with you the comparison between Xiaopeng stock and Tesla, which is the top EV leader in the industry. And I already did a comparison between Neo, Xiaopeng, and Li Auto. If you haven't seen that, go ahead and check it out here. I'll link it above. For those of you who are new to my channel, uh, we talk about EV stocks, you know, high growth stock, and other investment strategies. So if you like that, go ahead and subscribe. And if you like this video and you find it helpful, don't forget to uh, go ahead and give me a thumbs up as it really helped out my channel. Since last week, you guys helped me triple the size of my channel. So now, without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about Xiaopeng versus Tesla. By the way, in this video, I'll also include the timestamp of each section of the video. In case you're not interested in a certain part, you can just skip to that part. Just a disclaimer, I do own uh, Xpeng shares. Uh, I got them when they went public. It was like around $24 a share. Uh, anyways, um, I bought more since then. But use this video as an educational purpose only, not a financial advice. Uh, you should do your own research and, and look more into the company. All of the data and screenshot that you see in this video, most of them come from Weibo app, which is a trading platform that I personally use and uh, have my money in. But yeah, this month they're having a special promotion. Uh, they're currently giving out three free stocks if you sign up uh, with my link and you deposit $100 within your first 30 days opening up the account. And some of the stock uh, could be worth anywhere between uh, you know $5 up to $1,600 a share. So yeah, grab your Grab your three free stocks uh, in the link below. So first we'll talk about the overview of XPEV, that's their ticker symbol, and how it is compared to Tesla. Next, we'll talk about the P7, compare that to the Model 3. I'll just do a quick comparison. Next, we'll talk about the company's growth, and also we'll talk about the deliveries and earnings for the Q3 2020. We'll also talk about their balance sheet. And lastly, I'll give you guys my thought and my prediction about Xpeng. Xpeng manufactures, develops, and market smart electric vehicles in China. And if you take a look at Tesla, Tesla of course does the same, but they're a global company. Currently, Xiaopeng is only selling their vehicles in China, and they just slowly started to sell their vehicle in European market. But some of the pros or reward in uh, Xiaopeng is that they're growing a little bit faster than uh, Tesla at the moment. Currently, their earnings are forecast to grow at 59.89% per year compared to uh, Tesla. You know, Tesla already has a massive growth in their company, so it's still growing, but uh, not as fast as Xiaopeng. Tesla is growing at 38.3%. And next, uh, Xiaopeng grew their revenue by 80% over the past year. And Tesla just became profitable earlier this year. Now let's talk about the risk of Xpeng. Xpeng over the last three months, you know, it's their share price went up like crazy. I believe they double. So it's currently very volatile. Whereas some of the risks that involve with uh, Tesla, you know, the interest payment are not well covered by earnings. So they're barely profitable right now, but of course Tesla is ahead of any EV at the, at the moment. As far as the outstanding shares, currently Xpeng has about 705 million shares left. And for Tesla, they have over 931 million shares left. Currently, Tesla is 12 times the size of Xiaopeng. So that's a quick summary of Xiaopeng. Now let's talk about their popular uh, EV model, which is the P7. And let's compare that with the Tesla Model 3. The P7 is about 34,800, and the Tesla Model 3 is about $37,827. Now let's talk about the range. The P7 has longer range at 437 miles, whereas the Tesla Model 3, it has a range of uh, 290 miles. One thing I want to bring up with the Xiaopeng is that their P7 has 31 uh, sensor compared to 21 sensor in the Model 3. In the Model 3, they have eight cameras, one LiDAR, 12 ultrasonic sensor. I believe it over the air updates and their X Pilot 3.0 coming out uh, in the next couple quarters in 2021. With the autonomous driving 
and research and devel development that Xiaopeng is doing, I think they have a good chance of competing with Tesla and NIO. That's, and I think that's really the main catalyst for any EV company to really compete. It's not the EV itself, it's the technology, the research and development, and of course the autonomous driving that goes along with it. So that's why I'm very bullish about Xiaopeng. Now let's take a look at their three month uh, growth as far as the share price. Xiaopeng over the last three months has grown about 97%, whereas Tesla over the last three months has only grown about 26%. But Tesla year to date uh, has grown almost 500% at 490%. Uh, I can't compare that with the one year for Xpeng because they only went public about three months ago. Now let's talk about the future growth of the EV industry and each company. According to analysts, the EV industry is expected to grow at 40.6%. And if you take a look at Xiaopeng, they expect Xiaopeng to grow at 56.9% over the next year, uh, compared to 38.1% uh, for Tesla. Now let's talk about the forecast annual revenue growth for the EV industry, as well as Xiaopeng and Tesla. According to analysts, they expect the EV industry revenue to grow by 22%. As far as Xiaopeng, they expected to grow at 44.1% compared to 22.5% for Tesla revenue growth over the next year. Now let's talk about the deliveries and earnings for their Q3 2020. October 2020 delivered roughly about 3,040 vehicles. Compared to a year ago, Xiaopeng deliveries uh, grew by 229%. Year to date, Xiaopeng delivered about 17,117 vehicles, and that's a 64% growth year over year. Now let's take a look at Xiaopeng's outlook for the fourth quarter 2020. The deliveries of vehicles to be approximately 10,000 vehicles, representing a year over year increase approximately at 210% growth. Total revenues to be approximately 2.2 billion yuan, representing a year-over-year -year growth of 243.7%. Now let's talk about their Q3 earnings for 2020. Even though they didn't meet the expectation for their EPS, but Xiaopeng did beat their uh, revenue expectation at about 2 billion uh, yuan. Now let's take a look at Xiaopeng's balance sheet. This is their asset versus their liability. For the year of 2018, you know, they, they've seen 37% uh, growth compared to 2019. They've seen almost 70% growth. And if you take a look at Tesla and their balance sheet over the last five years, you can see that they all have double digit growth uh, as far as their asset versus their liability ratio. So for my thoughts and my prediction, of course, Neo and Tesla will do well in the long run. They're, I believe right now, the top two EV uh, company right now. Having the battery swapping technology will differentiate Neo And Tesla, they have the manufacturing uh, capacity to produce so many vehicles. So I think Tesla will do well. You know, Neo will do well as well. But I own Neo and Tesla shares. But I also own Xpeng because I believe Xpeng will dominate in the lower tier and mid tier market of the EV sector in China, especially in China. Plus right now they're going to Europe as well and going to Europe before NIO. I mean, that's huge. I mean, that's gonna bring in a lot of sales. But at the same time, you know, China market is three times bigger than the US and majority of people, there are, you know, a good amount of rich and well off people in China, but majority of people, the average consumer out there, all they really care about is the value, the range, you know, because there are still not enough uh, supercharger in China. I mean, they're building up to it, but having the longer range and better price, I think majority of consumer in China will choose Xiaopeng over uh, Tesla Model 3. Plus, Ch Xiaopeng is backed up by the uh, Chinese government as well. I mean, that's huge. And they're being backed up by uh, Alibaba. I mean, the CEO, you know, came from Alibaba, if you didn't know. 
I know the name is not the easiest to pronounce, but over time, you know, the people will pick up, right? People will know how to pronounce uh, Xiaopeng or Xpeng or X Motor. I don't know what it will be called in the future, but uh, you know, people will get used to uh, calling it. I mean, there are some European cars that I, I don't even know how to pronounce, and uh, you know, of course, they're doing well. But any, anyways, uh, I, I believe by the end of the year, Xiaopeng can easily. Uh, hit $60 a share and by 2021 this is my again just my prediction I believe Xiaopeng could hit $200 or $300 a share due to the fact that the pandemic at the time will be over and China will you know since they're really pushing the EV market I mean the growth the revenue growth and the delivery growth is gonna be insane so that's why I'm really bullish about Xiaopeng so yeah guys, that's my opinion. I want to know yours. So go ahead and comment down below. What do you think of Xiaopeng? You know, what is your prediction? I'm just curious and, and hear from you guys as well. We're just a community. We're here to help out each other. I also want to give you guys updates on my investment journey. So let's go ahead and help each other grow and grow this channel. And I want to see you guys well off and you know turbocharge your financial future and your financial freedom so that's about it so i want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch my video uh, stay tuned and i will see you in my next video